Here on the Morning Extra, Easter Seals Redwood hosting its fourth annual honor ride happening next weekend. We have Sherry Elms here in studio telling us more about how the event is giving back to our local veterans. It's always a win. And of course, we do our salute to heroes here uh, every day at four on Fox 19 now. So we love to honor our veterans. Great to have you on here this morning. Thank you. So this is the fourth year doing this honor ride. What's the history of it? Why did you guys start this initially? So our military and veteran services at Easter Seals Redwood is funded through philanthropy, through fundraising efforts. And uh, four years ago during COVID, we couldn't have our traditional fundraising event that we had. And we had one of our staff members decide to ride a stationary bike and raise money for our military and veteran services. That's so you're on stationary bikes. He was on a stationary bike, but it morphed into an in-person uh, event at Miami Whitewater. So this is a third year at Miami Whitewater. And you guys are riding uh, bicycles. Is it motorcycles or is it anything that has two wheels? It's bicycles. <laughs> or, okay. you know, if you want to ride a unicycle, why not? Well, there we go. <laughs> that could make it very interesting. Exactly. And that's going to happen uh, at Miami Whitewater Forest. And what are the times on this? Uh, the bike ride, well, the honor ribbon uh, ceremony will start at 830, where we will read the names of all of the honor ribbons that have been purchased. So if you want to purchase an honor ribbon with your favorite veteran on there, We'll write it on here, we'll nice. read all the names, and then once all the names are read, we put them in a backpack and we start the bike. Wow, and so you said by Veterans Day also, you guys sort of give back as well. We do, so once uh, Veterans Day comes, we will send these ribbons back to the people who purchased it, purchased it so you can give it back to your favorite veteran. That's awesome, and we have a lot of favorite veterans in our family. This is a great way to raise money for Easter Seals. You guys do a lot of work there. Um, what if you don't want to ride? Can you still buy one of the ribbons? You can still buy one of the ribbons. You can donate to one of the teams uh, because we have various uh, cycling teams. Oh, gotcha, like, okay. Like mine, if you want to give to mine. <laughs> Absolutely, why not? Yeah, or um, if you want to just ride a stationary bike or ride wherever you want to, you could even do that. You could do it at your gym, your favorite gym, mm -hmm. right? So it's 20 bucks to buy the ribbon, by the way. Mm -hmm. And then all those names read aloud during the ceremony. I'm looking at some of the pictures here uh, on screen. Looks like you guys have had not only teams, but a tremendous turnout in the past. We have, we've had hundreds of bike riders there. You know, we have a really good support network here in Cincinnati. People, we love our veterans. Yes. We love to support them. And, but it seems like even with all the support, there's still people that can fall through the cracks and not getting services for veterans. And that's what we're here to do. At Military and Veterans Services, we want to make sure that no veteran is left behind. We want to take care of our veterans by connecting them to the different resources that are available to them, helping them with employment, helping them if there's emergency financial assistance needs, and we're going to be opening up a new military and veterans center at the end of September. Wow, where? Tell me more about that. Uh, East Walnut Hills on Gilbert Avenue, just wow. south of Martin Luther King. 7,000 to 8,000 square foot facility with a large community room, gaming room, computer lab, fitness center, laundry, shower facilities. This all sounds great. Uh, Sherry, real quickly, one more time, let's just go over the who, what, where, and when for next weekend, right? Not this coming, but the next. Next weekend, August 24th, you can go to honoryourvet.net to learn all about it. Awesome, and supporting your team. So good to have you on here, Sherry. Thank Appreciate you. it, hope you guys raise a boatload and help our veterans. It's great work you guys are doing. Thank you so much. Awesome, okay, and 